Hey guys, and continue straight from the previous video. So we're now up to finding all these values here. We've done part one and part two. So here's our problem. We're going to be finding by, which is the integral of x over dA over the area. Now for by, we're still going to be using the exact same integral setup. Okay, we're using the exact same thing. So this is going to be the outer integral would be from zero to a of dx, the inner integral will be from our two functions, minus h on ax, h on ax. We have an x value there, and this is dy. So once again, the dA is dy dx, the x is the x, and this integral splits up into two different integrals here. Now, as you can see, we're integrating for x over dy, so we think of the x as staying constant. So this is going to be 0 to a dx, that's just the outer integral the inter inner integral, so we're integrating for x, so think of x as just staying constant, integrating a constant of dy would give us y, so if we, for example, we had the integral over 2y, that would be the 2 would stay constant, you'd have y squared on 2, okay? So, we have a constant, sorry, a better example would have actually been, say if we had the integral of 2, 2 over dy, if we integrated that, we would just get 2y. So that constant just stays constant. So we're doing the same thing, integral of x over dy. Think of that as a 2, so it just becomes integral xy. Okay, that would be the answer. So if we get xy, the values we're going between are minus x, minus hx on a, hx on a, substituting them in for, we're gonna substitute it in for y, okay? Because we integrated over dy, that's our constant we're going to be subbing it in for. So we're going to be subbing in. So we're going to have x outside of hx on a minus minus x outside of hx on a dx. So if we were to simplify this, we would have... So the minus and the minus is giving us a plus, so it's those two plusing each other. So 2hx squared on a. I'm just going to take the constant out the front, the 2h on a out, outside the front, because that's just a constant. 2h on a from 0 to a of x squared dx. Integrating this, so we have 2h on a, x cubed on 3, 0 to a. Substituting in for a, we'd have 2h on a, a cubed on 3. This would give us a final answer of 2h a squared on 3. So there we have found b y okay time to find i y i y is the integral over a of x squared da so we're just going to be subbing in like we always do um, the outside integral is 0 a dx the inside integral will be minus x h on a h x on a the x squared component and then the dy component. So dy dx is dA, x squared is x squared. That integral splits up into these two, ensuring that the order you do it in is consistent. So just putting the outside integrals on the outside for now. Integrating x squared dy, so think of the x squared as staying constant, you would get a y. This is between minus hx on a, hx on a. Solving for this. So we're going to be subbing in, because it was dy, we're going to be subbing in <clears throat> these constants for y. So it's going to be x squared outside of hx on a, minus minus x squared hx on a, dx. So if we were to simplify this, we just add those two things together, we would have it equal in. So I'm going to have 0 to a of x cubed 2h on a dx taking out the um, constants which is 2h on a integral from 0 to a of x cubed dx we would get 2h on a integrating now for x we would get x to the power 4 from 0 to a substituting in we would have and that's on 4 sorry um, substituting in, we would have a to the power of 4 on 4 minus 0, and this would give us a final answer, 2h on a by a to the power of 4 on 4, 
would equal um, a cubed h from 2. So there we have found iy. Okay, guys, I'm going to continue the last video. We'll finish this whole problem off. So we'll see you there.